Whova is not just for face-to-face -face conferences and expos. Recently, we have also helped many organizers move their events online. With our recent integration with Zoom, Google Meetings, and other various conferencing and video services, your attendees can easily attend your sessions and also actively participate in the app through live polls, live Q&A, and also through our discussion board. They can also virtually network with each other even before the event starts. So Whova offers both a mobile event app and a web app. The web app is designed for laptop and desktop browsers, so your attendees can conveniently watch presentations on a bigger screen. Both the mobile app and web app have live Q&A and networking features. The mobile app is particularly useful for pre-event networking and during virtual coffee breaks due to its mobility. Let's start with the mobile app. In the event agenda, sessions that have live streaming or videos are marked with this video icon. Then clicking into the session, attendees can join the live stream or watch the recorded video by selecting from the available options. As the app doesn't reveal a URL to both your live stream and video, you don't have to worry about unwanted access from strangers. Your attendees cannot forward the link to any other people who did not register for your event. When you click on the live stream option, your attendees can directly watch a speaker's talk without needing to leave Whova. Not only does it create a seamless experience, but it also keeps your virtual event engaging and interactive. We have a live Q&A feature attendees can use to post their questions before and during the session. They'll also see questions from other attendees and have the option to upvote them. Speakers and moderators can then select the ones to answer and they can also pin up the popular questions at the top and hide any inappropriate ones. And that's not it. All this can be done with the web app on a bigger screen. Your attendees can explore the event agenda and join a session. They can seamlessly watch the live stream or recorded video within Whova and ask questions here at any time. It's easy to browse through the list of questions and join the conversation with other attendees and speakers even after the session is over. Now with the web app, the attendees can see the speakers and fellow attendees listed there, but using a mobile app would be much more convenient to use while having a quick break, maybe when you leave your desk to do a couple stretches, and simply for virtually hanging out with others. So here on the mobile app, attendees can click into the speaker profile, check out their bio, and also take a note. Now let me show you how Whova can make a virtual event interactive. One of the organizers and attendees favorite is Whova's community board. Here attendees can check organizer announcements easily. Please note that your announcements can be made through an email, a push notification, and the web app all at the same time, so it will be very effective to update and engage your attendees. Your attendees can ask you any questions, self-organize virtual meetups, and start conversations with fellow attendees. Clicking into a topic, you will see attendees get together, discuss common interests, and share useful information. Or they can enjoy a virtual meetup with a cup of coffee, something like this. And that's not it. Attendees can create a video meeting using features such as Google Hangouts and Zoom meetings, and put the link into the community board and invite people to virtually hang out with. For attendees who don't have a video conferencing account like Zoom, Whova will soon release its own video chat feature so they can directly create a video meeting within Whova. Another cool feature of the community board is the article sharing. Speakers, organizers, and any attendee can conveniently share web articles by simply providing a URL. The app then shows a slick preview of the articles and it's a nice way to engage your attendees even before the event. The community board is available on the web app too, and it makes it easy to explore all the conversation topics, virtual meetings, and others, just like the mobile app. Now let's take a look at Whova's live poll. It's a fun way to make your event more interactive. It's also available on the mobile app as well. It's useful to boost your attendees' participation before an event begins, and also to collect instant feedback during the event. Now, as we mentioned earlier, attendees can also see who else is attending and plan their networking ahead of time. Whova's matchmaking recommends attendees to connect based on common background and interests, 
so the attendees can easily identify whom to talk with and what to talk about. Then they can use our one-on-one -on -one messaging to connect with one another. How about collecting feedback from your attendees? For this, you can use our survey feature, which once again is supported by both the mobile and the web app. Attendees can easily fill out the survey without leaving Whova, and you can directly send out reminders and monitor the real-time stats through Whova as well. For your sponsors, you have many great opportunities to highlight them through Whova. The mobile app shows sponsor ad banners in many places, including the bottom of your sessions, in the agenda, and the attendee profiles. The web app constantly displays sponsor ad banners at the top, which is a great exposure to your attendees. If you also have exhibitors, the virtual exhibit hall is an essential place for your participants to create business opportunities. Here, exhibitors can set up their own virtual booth with product information, photos, and coupons. They can also immediately receive information from people who showed their interest, follow up with them through in-app messages, schedule a virtual meetup on the community board, and export their lead list from Whova at any time. This way, you can keep your exhibitors happy and help them get the most out of your event. Lately, tens of events have used us to help organize their virtual conferences successfully. With the Whova app, we was so quickly, we were so quickly able to just change it into a virtual event. I was able to go into the agenda, quickly add recorded videos. Attendees were actually able to watch the videos and then comment and ask questions. And our speakers were able to be right there to answer questions just like they would in a workshop. So that was wonderful. And then of course our community board, that is what kept us all connected throughout the day. We had uh, over 2000 messages. There were lots of virtual meetups that were set up that people were even, even saying, hey, I've, I've set this Google Hangout up here, come meet us here. So we had lots of different ways and venues that people quickly uh, connect here. I was so thankful because I cannot express how many tips they send me and my uh, rep I was able to quickly email her. She quickly emailed me back. So I will have to say that Hoover, as far as customer service, they were on top of it and were ready to help us. Making sure that people could still make connections because the biggest takeaway from the event is networking. And so when you're not actually face to face with people, that's really tough. And so using Hoover to really push out who the speakers are, who the attendees are, encouraging people to take those to the discussion boards on the app and still be able to make good connections even if you can't be there in person. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. And so I think that if you just follow the tips that are already built in with Whova and just maximize everything that you all already offer, all the tools that you need are right there. So. Just use them, take a deep breath, and you should be okay. You can create an exciting virtual event with Whova too. Simply let us know and we'll be more than happy to help.